Breaking news, it is now official. Gervonta Tank Davis versus Rolando Roly Romero coming soon this December. About to talk about it. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Listen, I don't know how you guys found my video, but somehow, some way, you arrived here. Please help others who are looking for similar boxing content by hitting the like button. It's a free but simple gesture, takes a few seconds, and it encourages others to find the same content that they could be looking for. This is your one-stop shop for all your boxing needs. Now, I talked about this on my channel, then it kind of got quiet for a little bit, and here we are. Told you guys the rumors that Tank Davis' next fight should be announced, and it was gonna be against Roley. Some people didn't think it was gonna happen, being that they were both with Mayweather Promotions. Well, the great ego Stradamus strikes again. Please subscribe to the channel. As you can see, Mayweather Promotions verified page said, see you December 5th, LA. Eyes on it, and it says, hashtag Davis R Romero. And then they posted this graphic. The graphic looks nice, I like it, you know, dope. It says Davis versus Romero. Sunday, December 5th, 2021, Mayweather promotion, GTD promotions. Short, sweet, I love it. This is a growth fight, I like it. Um, interesting decision to put it on Sunday. Listen, I believe, and this is not a confirmed source, I didn't ask around or you know, pick anyone's brain, but typically you see pay-per-views on Saturday, sometimes you see boxing on Friday, but not so much pay-per-views on a Friday. So really the day, the designated day that we think for boxing pay-per-views is on Saturday. However, Mayweather Promotions had another fight with a Mayweather Promotions fighter, the man himself, Floyd Mayweather, earlier this year in the summer, a couple weeks before Tank fought against Barrios, and that was Mayweather against Logan Paul exhibition, right? And they did that fight on a Sunday and that card on a Sunday have fights like Jared Hurd, Luis Cuba, Adias. So maybe they're onto something. Maybe they feel Sunday is a good day and they're trying to bring that in. This is also a Showtime fight and a Showtime pay-per-view. And Showtime, another Paul brother, they put him, Jake Paul, versus Tyron Woodley on Sunday. So that's two Showtime fights, one a Mayweather Promotions Showtime pay-per-view with Mayweather and Logan Paul. And those were both on Sundays in recent memory. So data wise and statistically, this might be a great day that they're noticing a trend. That's that's what it seems like to me that they will put this fight on a Sunday. They might they must like the numbers that they're seeing and they decide it's a good day because just think about a Sunday, seventh day, the Sabbath people. What do they do? Chill out, do laundry, go to church, maybe in the daytime get something to eat for lunch and then you right back home you know what i mean so i love it i like it on a sunday and i think that's kind of a new thing they might be testing out like i just mentioned and i love it for the staples center gervonta tank davis confirmed this as well this is his verified you guys see it he got three million followers tank davis he posted i'm back third pay-per-view i never seen past a world title coming up so many died on the way up. I gave him heart and dedication, put this ish on my back and kept going. Blessings, blessings. It says December 5th at the Staples Center in LA on Showtime pay-per-view versus Rolando Romero, get ready, the one. Now you see people, uh, fellow Mayweather promotion, Richardson Hitchin, he said, that's tough. Vito Milnicki, uh, Andre Berto says, yes, sir. I want to see what that Rolando talk all about. So people looking forward to it. Regis Progre said, Rollies, and he's laughing. I, you know, I don't, that's kind of weird. I don't know why uh, he's laughing at the, at the Roly fight. Listen, I don't know, to each his own. I like the fight. I like the fight. Before I give you kind of more of my thoughts, let me check in with what Rolando had to say. This is what Roly said. They call me Roly the Dwarf Slayer. Roly putting this kid to sleep. 
December 5th. Hashtag I am the father. Bet the house on Roly. You can be a millionaire too. And then you guys see the last hashtag. I don't need to repeat that. But um, I know both these dudes personally. Tank, Roly. You know, I'm looking forward to it. It's a good fight. I also think it's a dangerous fight. Just based on the fact that they both have power. Anytime you got two guys, they have they listen, they do things completely different. They they fight completely different, but there are a few like basic similarities. For one, they both got power. Tank, we know he has power. He put all of his opponents to sleep except for one guy. Roly, he's known for his power. Um, he's posted all these crazy clips of him sparring, knocking people out, dropping people, things like that. You know, he almost got famous from kind of roughing up Ryan Garcia and things like that. So they both have power. They deliver it different and whatnot, but they both got power. They're both with Mayweather promotions. And I don't know if they've ever sparred before. I think I talked to Roley, but I don't, you know, I don't remember what he said enough to quote him on that. So they're both with Mayweather promotions. They're both power punchers. And then in addition to that, they both have that kind of cocky, competitive demeanor where they don't they're not going to back down you know so this is going to be an, a crazy buildup i really see that i see this being a crazy buildup because they have just those similarities they're, they're confident definitely in their power and neither guy is going to really want to back down roley's the bigger of the two tank is the more experienced of the two tank fundamentally has more of a more of the pure style and skill and fundamentals you see the hand speed stuff like that and Roly, he's his style is awkward. See, people say whatever they want about Roly, but he got power and he's just a rough customer. He's willing to rough you up. He's like a by me any means necessary type of fighter where you know you might he might push you off with the forearm. He's just real aggressive and real rough. So I actually like the fight. What I also love is what Mayweather Promotions is doing with this kid. Gervonta Tank Davis, right? You see, this is the scene from the Barrios fight, his last fight. Moved up to 140 for a secondary title, and he got the stoppage. Great fight. And now he's fighting another dangerous option and a power puncher. Again, people can say whatever they want. You got two big, big punchers. I'm assuming the fight is at 135. So you got two big punchers, and at the end of the day, they both have that kind of, like I said, that competitive streak. So, you know, if someone lands, it could change change the course of events or whatever. So big risk. But what I like from Mayweather promotion, shout out to Floyd Mayweather, shout out to um, Leonard Ellaby and also Steven Espinoza and Showtime. I love how the collective CBS, whoever else is involved. I like how the collective is moving Gervonta Tank Davis. It would be super easy to just put Tank in a Baltimore and have him sell out he could sell out sell out sell out tank just posted a video with the baltimore ravens so he easily could just keep fighting at home and when it comes to black fighters specifically that's what you see sometimes from other promoters like top rank top rank got this mbf list and you look at how they move crawford for example crawford's a great fighter his biggest outings have pretty much been in omaha like his biggest fights have been in omaha you know, at one point, Bob Arum said he wanted to take Crawford to Africa for some reason. Tank Davis is almost lazy promotion and too too easy to just put him in Baltimore, right? Because he could just keep selling out, selling out, selling But that's low-hanging fruit. Mayweather Promotions is not doing that. What they are doing is kind of taking him on a tour. He had the fight with the Liam Walsh in the UK, came out to the Michael Jackson stuff. He fought in LA previously. It was supposed to be a better fight against Abner Modest, but he had a detached retina, so that fight got canceled, and they subbed him with Hugo Ruiz. But Tank still brought the stars out. Lil Wayne was there, Birdman, Drake, um, OBJ, and it was a lit event. He also had a thriller type of uh, walkout for that particular fight. They did put him in Baltimore, but they don't just keep throwing him in Baltimore, which would be the easy sell. They're putting him in Atlanta. I was at one fight when he fought Gamboa in Atlanta, packed lit met Shaquille O'Neal there right then they brought him back to Atlanta with the Mario Barrios now they're taking him back to LA for a good fight this trust me December 5th 20 days before Christmas Staples Center 
where the Lakers play, this is going to be lit. I told you, Tank is, they're moving him great. And he's tapped in with the culture. You know what I'm saying? You might see LeBron James there. You might see basketball players. LA is just a spot that people want to be at, right? And then anything lit. And this on a Sunday. So I like it. I like Mayweather promotion. They're doing a, a hell of a job moving this kid. Shout out to Floyd Mayweather. And I, I do think the fight is dangerous just based on the fact that they both have power. So Tank, he has the ability. His team is moving him well as well. And he has the skill and the charisma and the drip. And, you know, he's he's doing his thing. And then Mayweather Promotions and also Showtime, they're doing a, a, a heck of a job as well. So Floyd Mayweather, in front of his audience, he also posted, he said, this one you don't want to miss. Follow Mayweather Promotions for more information. Look, Iced Out Barber, can't wait. Someone said, down goes Roley. Ivan Redcash tag Roley. Damn, Marcus Brown said, Roley dead. Um, Ivan Redcash said, time to kick. Look, you see all these blue check marks, all these pro fighters. Look, it's security. Man, you don't want to, definitely don't want to miss this one. So, I like it. I, I think they're doing an exceptional job. And it's going to be a fun buildup. Knowing both fighters and just knowing what I've seen, Roley, he's crazy. Roley is crazy. He already went live. He talking about it probably. See? You already have the... Look at the people reacting. It, this is going to be a big fight. I'm I'm liking it. I like it. Dangerous punchers. Two, two showmen. You know what I mean? It, it, this is going to be a fun fight. Look, Roley, what is he? 180? Something like that. So he's clearly bigger than Tank. Taller than Tank. And you also got to give credit to Mayweather Promotions. Mayweather Promotions... These are both their fighters. I remember when I was making the video and the fight was just a rumor, even though this is a mandatory fight, you have to keep this in mind. When I was making the videos and it was just in the rumor stage, there were people saying that Mayweather Promotions wouldn't make this fight because it's too dangerous and you would have to see one of them lose. But as the old adage goes, old saying goes, you want to make an omelet, you got to crack a few eggs. This is a mandatory, and Mayweather Promotions got it done. They're not saving either fighter. They're not, you know what I'm saying? Roley said he wants it. Clearly, Tank wants it. He's the A-side, and the fight's happening. Dangerous fight for both, just based on the fact that they both have power. Again, look forward to me breaking this down more. If you're going to get the Deontay Wilder fight, you can order it from me directly using the link in the description. There's a separate link in the link tree. They'll both get you there to order the Wilder fight this weekend with Tyson Fury. It's lit. A lot of stuff. Happy they got this done and finalized and announced, and then we move on. But this is definitely going to be popping, and I look forward to covering this and giving you guys more details on this. Let me know how I did in this video. Drop your thoughts in the comment section, and I'm out.